Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So in today's quick tutorial, we are gonna make a dreamy, romantic, watercolor inspired floral motif like you see here on the left. And we're gonna be using my Impressionist color blending technique. So if you don't already have some of my color blending brushes, I'll have a link down below and you can download some for free on Adobe. So let's get started. And first of all, um, I'm actually reusing a couple color palettes. I love to, um, you know, mix and match color palettes and collections because every time I do a color blending brush collection, I usually make a custom color palette for it. But the great thing is, is that you can mix and match all my collections and all my palettes. So I'm actually using a pink color palette that came with my tie dye brushes and a green color palette that is available from my Wisteria um, tutorial that I did last week. So those are my color palettes. And I'm just gonna do a little demo of the brushes. So I am actually working on new brushes and I was flipping through some of mine and these are all new brushes and they're gonna be available on my Patreon. So um, you can check that out, I'll have the link down below. But I always love to do extra things, um, sneak peeks, previews for my Patreon members. But the cool thing is, is that you can use um, any of my color blending brushes or a lot of them um, and replace the, do you use the same like ideas and principles that you get on this technique with some of my other brushes. So this is like what I would call a fluffy floral brush. And what's cool about this brush is that it's pressure sensitive. And I love that if I have a lighter pressure, I can see these streaky, the streakiness. But if I have a heavier pressure, it becomes more fluffy, like cotton candy or whatever. And so for this flower, I love to do kind of a medium pressure and make these brush strokes. But as you can see, you can kind of overlap and add some lighter strokes to kind of have those like expressive lines on top. So you can really like mix and match the pressure. But I just love this, this brush stroke and um, it's just a lot of fun. I just think it looks like, like watercolor cotton candy and you can just easily make a flower with a few brush strokes like you see over here so super fun um, i just called it fluffy floral for now and then also the watercolor that you see in the background i call me calling this fluffy watercolor so i'm just going to grab the green color palette and i'm not going over the um technique so much uh, i'll have a link down below if you're not familiar with this technique but i use it over and over again so I'm just using my pattern stamp tool with Impressionist Checked, my special color blending brushes, and the, my pre-made color palettes. So this one I call a fluffy watercolor and I'm really in love with it. And actually I'm working on a new color blending watercolor collection. And my, um, I'll have some more details about this on my Patreon. But I love that it has pressure sensitivity in, you can have very transparent and push down a little bit and have these nice bursts of color. So I think that's really romantic. Um, for the vine here on the, the flower, I just have this kind of contained brush, which I think is really interesting. And what's fun is that um, it's got all those you know, colors inside of it. And you think that this could take like even a long time to paint that vine, but it takes like no time at all. And then this one is called Smooth Leaves. So um, I love this brush because it's kind of a contained brush. It's all contained within a dual brush, but the color blending is very subtle and very like creamy and blends really nice. So you have that nice contrast to that vine. So it's always fun to have a lot of contrasts. And then I have this Palm Beach Garden Party brush, which is just a little bit of a splatter brush. And I use that in the center here, as you can see. And I'm gonna put one of my 24 karat gold layer styles to give it that little touch of gold because I always love a little gold, little bling bling. So that I would say is my signature. So I'm just gonna show you how I made this, this floral motif. And you can use whatever brushes, um, color blending brushes you have at your disposal and do something similar. So um, let's see here. So I've got my pattern stamp tool. I'm gonna grab my flower color palette and then I'm gonna grab my fluffy floral brush. That's kind of hard to say. And then I'm just gonna make some, like you see here, I'm gonna kind of make the back side of the flower. And this isn't any specific flower, it's just an abstract flower, but it doesn't need to be, it's a fantasy flower, it's a motif, so. 
It doesn't need to be um, anything in particular. But the best part about this is, is you can make something really beautiful and you don't really need any drawing talent, which is very key for me because I make these tools because I don't have that drawing talent. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's like I, I created these tools for myself and hopefully other people will find them useful. So I'm just gonna kind of add some little strokes like this. This is okay. And I just already, I love it. And I'm gonna make another layer, maybe add like some lighter, there we go. Some lighter ones so you can kind of see those lines and everything. I think that's so cool. So now I'll make another one and I'm gonna do the top, like the front leaves here cause I wanna kind of have that hole in the middle. So I'm just gonna kind of go like this. And now right now you kind of might not be able to see it. You're like, oh, it's a big, you know, whatever. But I just did a few in front. That looks, that looks okay. I'm leaving it like this. So this is my top layer. So I'm gonna label it top. And now I'm gonna make a layer below that. And I'm gonna put the blend mode to multiply. And now using the same brush, I'm just going to paint a little bit in there. And now you're gonna see that hole in the center of the flower. And I'm gonna just duplicate that layer and I'm gonna cut it, okay? So I wanna make some fresh things, fresh marks. So just doing that again until I feel that you can feel that, you can feel that depth in the center there. You wanna feel that hole and you wanna feel those leaves, you know, like in the front. So now I'm, now I'm fine with it. It's good enough, it's a demo, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And now above that dark multiply layer, I'm gonna put a new layer and I'm gonna add my 24 karat gold layer style on it because I know I want it to be gold. And now I'm gonna grab my garden party, my Palm Beach garden party brush. And in my Palm Beach garden party collection, they're like a lot of fun, crazy brushes, like kind of confetti, a lot of like really party brushes, honestly. I think that they're very good for surface patterns, very good for invitations, very good for summertime things, um, a lot of spray, just a lot of crazy brushes. But um, also just an, a heads up, I will have that on sale on half price actually for a really short time. So I'll have that link down below. And best of all, um, I will have this brush available for free um, on my social media downloads page. So follow the link down below and then you can get that brush for free. So I'm just gonna, it doesn't matter what color my brush is because it's got the gold layer style on it. So I'm just gonna go like this. And now I've created like a little bit of gold in the center and I think that's cool. I'm, you know, uh, it looks close enough. So we're gonna stick with that. So now I'm just gonna go underneath all those and create a new layer. And now I'm gonna make the vine. So I'm gonna go over and grab my green color palette and I'm, I'll just make it like, like that, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect. And I'm gonna just go ahead and draw in a couple leaves. Mm, that one doesn't look the best. But anyway, okay, so I'm gonna go like that. Good enough, and I'm not gonna be worried about, um, you know, it being perfect or whatever. But anyway, so I'll just draw some leaves behind, kind of like we see over here. So I'm drawing the leaves, and good enough. So, and it's kind of got that rough kind of feel, but anyway, that's cool. We're happy with that. I'm gonna make a new layer now above that. Clip it to this layer. And now I'm gonna use my smooth leaves and I'm just gonna add some of the smoothing brush strokes like on part of these leaves as just like a little contrast. You can use this brush more, but anyway, just some contrast. I love the contrast of the rough of the vine with the smooth leaves or, you know, maybe I'll just make like all of the leaves with the smooth on top. Okay, this is kind of cool. And then maybe I'll grab that vine with, that's got the rough and kind of put some, I don't know, on top here, like on the little tips. So, yeah. Mm, okay, maybe not there, but we get the idea. So that's kind of coming out a little bit dark. Okay, but anyway, you can play around with the contrast, whatever, but I like to contrast smooth and, you know, it's all about contrast. So I've got some leaves and then now I'm just gonna add some really um, nice watercolor behind it. So I'm not changing my palettes and I'm just gonna grab my fluffy watercolor. And I just think that looks like really dreamy, kind of, you know, you can put it around here, whatever. 
and just make like a really, I'm kind of like not loving it, anyway. Play with it to add kind of a little bit of a background. I love that it's like faded. Um, yeah, and do something like this. And now that you've done something like this, you can use this on a card. You can use this, um, you know, make the, or turn this motif into a repeating pattern. You could make a social media graphic. You could make a, a card template design, um, a lot, all kinds of things. Even though know, things for resale, I have a lot of people that create, even, you know, you can sell this illustration on Etsy or whatever, or creative market. So, you know, like my tools are for people, a lot of hobbyists, but then a lot of people are creating things for sale. So, you know, you can do a lot with this and it looks like something that could have taken a lot of time, but with the power of Photoshop brushes, um, it was really so easy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial. And just um, let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions. I'll have a link to the free Adobe brushes that anyone can get. And what else? And then also you can get the Palm Beach Garden Party brush for free. And I will have that on a slash sale for a very limited time. So hopefully everybody's having a great week and uh, look forward to my next video.